It's no secret that a strong authority portfolio is your best weapon to land better clients and improve your chances of getting hired by your dream studio. But what if I told you there's a little known strategy that 3D artists like myself use constantly to land paying 3D related work with dream companies, all while avoiding the grind of constantly chasing clients or applying to studios. What's going on you 3D modeling beasts? This is JL Musi and today I'll be sharing how to land your dream 3D clients without needing a portfolio. I've been using this strategy since 2019 since I became a full-time content creator. This decision changed my life leading to collaborations with Autodesk, Features, and PC Mag, and even starting my own online 3D art school. In this video, I'll break down my simple content creation strategy to show you how to supercharge your career as a 3D artist. However, these strategies can be applied to any form of digital art. And in the background, I'll be showing you how I created this awesome 3D render, primarily using Autodesk Maya. This video was a perfect fit as it is sponsored by Autodesk. You'll learn how you can get a steep discount on a Maya license, more on that later. Most content creators use this strategy to build their brands and secure more opportunities, but it's something that's not widely talked about enough in our space, and I wanted to bring some awareness to it. Stick around till the end to see even if you're introverted or camera shy, this strategy could still work for you. Before we get started, don't forget to grab your copy of the Hard Surface Cheat Sheets. It's your handy companion designed to quickly boost your topology knowledge. Check out the pinned comment down below to get your free guide. So why should every 3D artist have a digital content strategy? Cyclical nature. If you're a 3D artist, there's a good chance you'll experience periods of unemployment and job searching. Whether you work in a studio or freelance, you're familiar with the tendencies of the production cycle. Companies hire artists on project basis or during crunch periods, and once those projects are completed, some artists are let go until productions ramp up again. This cycle can lead to constantly grinding to land your next position. I know this frustration firsthand. After getting my first job out of college back in 2007, I landed a position at a local game studio making about 15 bucks an hour. I was excited to work in my field, but due to the economic collapse at the time, the studio downsized and I was let go after a few months. Then I went back to looking for my next studio gig continuing this cycle. Competition. Having an online portfolio is important, but if you frequent portfolio websites, you'll notice that there is a sea of great artists out there. On these websites, your work can easily get lost in a sea of talent. Actively applying to studios is a more proactive approach, but still means competing with many other 3D artists for those same exact positions. The solution is having a content strategy that helps you solve both of these problems. By creating content online, you create more opportunities year round, allowing you to have multiple streams of income. And I'll get to this in a second. By creating content, which only a small fraction of artists do, you'll actually be competing in a smaller market, but gaining much more visibility. And while creating online content is not a substitute for a solid online portfolio, it can help you supercharge its visibility, driving traffic, and expanding your employment opportunities. So how does creating free content help you as a digital artist? At this point, you might be like, all this content creation stuff sounds good, but I really don't have the time. Plus, I don't know the first thing about making videos and how can I afford to dedicate this type of effort to learning content creation? Today, you're about to find out why you can't afford not to learn how to create online content. Creating YouTube videos has changed my life. It can do the same for you. When you consistently create content, three powerful things start to happen. Exposure, you know, the thing that every college graduate gets offered to be paid with by clients looking to get free labor out of new grads entering the job market. But seriously, creating video content and posting it on social media platforms will boost your exposure massively, bringing a brand new set of eyeballs to your work. I've gotten to work on many great paying freelance 3D modeling projects just by posting my content online and having the right person or decision maker watch it and reach out with work offers. Making your work a part of your videos and providing links to it can inject a huge amount of traffic to your portfolio and land you much more paying work. Audience. Creating content helps you build an audience, a group of people who like your work 
follow your content, and support your projects. This is crucial if you ever plan to create future projects like an indie game, short animated films, or even a Kickstarter campaign. Start creating valuable content now because it takes time to build relationships through content. By delivering value consistently, you'll have a tribe of supporters ready when it's time for your next big launch. Paid collaborations. These are also known as brand deals. As a digital artist, you use software products to create your art. I started creating content on YouTube consistently in 2019, focusing on Maya, the software that I had to use for over a decade. My initial aim was to help as many 3D artists as possible by teaching them how to use Maya for free. Over time, I became one of the go-to channels for hard surface modeling in Maya. Without realizing it, I was becoming what's called a brand ambassador. Two years later, Autodesk reached out with a paid collaboration, a five-part video series. They found me on YouTube saying my Maya tutorials were hard to miss when searching for Maya-related content. Since then, I've done five paid collaborations with Autodesk and built a strong relationship with them. It was my content, not my portfolio, that got me discovered by Autodesk and many other companies. While a strong portfolio is important, these opportunities wouldn't have happened without my content. A paid collaboration is essentially a company funding your video in exchange for a small advertisement of their product. For 3D artists, this means you can continue creating your projects while promoting a software or product that you would normally use anyways in your workflow. It's a win-win. This strategy can work for any digital artist using most software. Many companies like Autodesk, Maxon, Adobe, and Nvidia have influencer marketing departments that are constantly looking for creators who use their software. The more content you create, the more likely one of these companies will reach out for a future collaboration. And this can generate another powerful income stream to fund you creating your art and your projects. And becoming a brand ambassador goes way past software. This could also be for physical products like hardware or office supplies you normally use in your art creation process. As your audience grows, you can get paid more for collaborations, helping companies showcase their products to a larger audience. And talking about Autodesk is the perfect time to introduce them as today's sponsor. If you recently graduated college and are looking for work, 3D software licensing can be a concern. If you lost access to your Maya educational license and can't afford the Maya Enterprise, the Autodesk Maya Indie license is a game changer. It provides affordable access to professional quality 3D tools you need to build your portfolio and skill set. Plus, if you learn Maya in school, you can hit the ground running and transition seamlessly into the Indie license. Maya is widely used in many studios. So most companies prefer hiring talent who are already trained in their tools and can fit quickly into their pipeline. Maya has helped me improve my creativity and take the quality of my 3D art to the next level. It's powerful 3D modeling tools, UV mapping, rigging, and it's Arnold Render helped me create professional 3D works. I've tried many 3D software tools over the years, but Maya has always been my go-to tool for quickly creating professional 3D models since it offers me a robust tools across every step of the pipeline. Build your portfolio and skill sets to land your first clients or dream job with Autodesk Indie Solutions. Affordable, complete versions of Maya designed to help you transition from student to professional seamlessly. So if you stuck with me so far, you might be pumped about the possibility of creating content, but now you're like, where do I start and what do I talk about? Don't worry, I create a simple step-by-step -step guide to kickstart your content creation journey. Step one, market research. Search your platform for the content you wanna make. Identify the big creators and what products they promote. Frequent promotions by these creators can indicate the potential of influencer programs. Growing your audience could lead to future collaborations with these very same companies. Use Google Trends to gauge topic popularity. All Google Trends does is measure the popularity of a particular search term over time. Also, look for creators making the content you wanna create and getting views. Few views mean low demand, and that might be a niche that you might want to avoid. 
What's a niche? Well, I'm glad you asked. Step two, select a niche. A niche is a narrow category of content. It's like the specific disciplines within 3D animation. You have animators, you have riggers, and you have 3D modelers. In content creation, niches help you grow faster by solving specific problems for a specific, more narrow audience. For example, when I first started, I focused on hard surface modeling in Maya, which helped me grow much quicker before expanding to general larger 3D modeling topics. Step number three, pick a platform. When I started creating content, the only video platform around the time was YouTube. Now there are many more platforms like Instagram, Reels, and TikTok that can help you grow your audience with video content. Pick one main platform that suits your style and the audience that you're trying to cater to and stick with that in the very beginning. It's easy to pick a bunch of platforms but end up getting all overwhelmed and quickly burning out. Step number four, create. It's time to get off the sidelines and start creating your own content. If you're camera shy or introvert, I got great news. Digital artists have an advantage here. You don't have to show your face on camera if you're doing 3D tutorials or showing off your work. The most important thing is delivering valuable information. While I'm very comfortable in front of the camera now, some of my early videos, they were just simple screen recordings. In fact, some of the biggest 3D content creators in our space never show their faces on camera, but still have been able to create massive followings. Here's a couple tips. Focus on value delivery. This might sound odd, but initially, nobody really cares about you. They just want valuable information. Many creators fall in love with talking about themselves, their story, their experiences for too long, causing viewers to stop watching. Focus on delivering as much value as you can and not feeding your ego. The more knowledge you can cram into a video in the shortest amount of time, the more value you're providing. Do this consistently over time and your audience will grow. I promise. Fail fast. There is a learning curve with content creation and you'll need to get through a certain number of bad videos. Just like 3D art, don't expect to master the entire pipeline in your first few attempts. Work on improving your videos one small step at a time. This could be improving your editing, improving your lighting, or your sound production. The more content you create, the faster your feedback loop. The comment section of your videos is gold for getting feedback that you need. Remember, content creation isn't about perfection. It's about constant iteration and small improvements over time. Most importantly, be yourself. Many creators chase views and try to copy what works, but it's crucial to be yourself. Copying other styles won't make you stand out and it's a sure way to get overlooked if you sound like everyone else. Your uniqueness is your competitive advantage. Some people will connect with the way that you create, look, think, and speak. Don't lose that important connection by being someone that you're not. All right, my fellow 3D modeling beasts, let's recap what we covered today. We talked about why every digital artist needs a content strategy to break the cyclical nature of the 3D industry and fierce competition. I also shared how creating content has opened up new opportunities for me and it could do the same thing for you. Remember, creating content can massively increase your exposure and help you build an audience that supports your future projects. It could also lead to paid collaborations with your favorite brands like the ones I've had with Autodesk, adding another revenue stream to your income. And a big shout out to Autodesk for sponsoring this video. If you found this video helpful, please share it with a fellow 3D artist. This video was a bit different from the content that I usually make. So let me know if you actually found it helpful and want me to make more of this type of content in the future. Until we meet again, folks, I will catch you next time.